Okay, so guess what we're doing today? I bet you can't guess. What? We, I mean, we're only in the kitchen. So... Are we baking with Bisky, maybe? We are! We're baking with Bisky Disky today, guys. <laughs> this Let's is get it. it. Let's get it. All right, baby. The Sugar cookies. Sugar cookies. And the paper says easy. Easy. So easy. easy. So we're going to make sure that you're working a little bit because, you know, sometimes Miss Lenny likes to sit over here and go, oh, how fun. Look at that. Yeah, I thought I was just going to watch. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You are going to be working. So oh, for Lord. this recipe, you are going to need two cups of all-purpose flour. Okay. So there's your half cup measure. So that's four of these. <laughs> ah, there you go. I mean, I so I'm gonna have you go ahead do and I, add do, that. I, do you do this? Yes, or? that's it. Level it off. Make okay. sure that it's exact. It's gonna be number four. Okay. I mean, okay, four. There Look we go. Now that's the go. flour. That's the flour. Now okay. we're gonna need the sugar for our sugar cookies. So you are gonna need two thirds of a cup. Do we have a two thirds of a cup thing? We have a one third of a cup. One third. So if you need two, two thirds, yeah. two. <laughs> that's some good math oh right my there. Gosh. I tell you what, I'll pour for you. This is like some STEM uh, stuff. <laughs> Baking is a science. That's how it goes. Okay, there's one. How many do we have to do? Two. two. Can we do two and a half? Mm. Ah! Oh, that that's was it. a half. That's, that's the half it. right there. I mean, I always think more sugar would be good. But you know, it's extra sweet. That's yeah, what we want. I'm going to have you stir your dry ingredients together, okay? I thought we used use the mixer. You don't want to do it by hand? I mean, why? There's a, when they, Because it's made with love. I know, Liz. but they invented it. Okay, okay, whatever. Can I mix with this? Yes, of course. See how it is. She's always trying to take a shortcut. Always exactly. trying to find the easy way out. This is turning into a workout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's pretty. Yes. That's pretty land. Yeah. Do you want to put some sprinkles in there? Yeah. Okay. Let's add you some sprinkles. We don't put the sprinkles after they're cooked? You can have all the sprinkles. You can put some sprinkles on top when you decorate them with the icing, and you can put some sprinkles in here, so it'll be almost like a funfetti. Can we put some vanilla in them? Yes, girl. We're not done yet. Oh. You see how this is? <laughs> Everybody's a critic. I don't cook, but... There you go. Ooh. Lynn's making it rain. Taste the rainbow. There you go. All right, stir your sprinkles in. Now, anybody can make these at home. Yes, yeah, so easy. Okay, so now we are going to add our other ingredients, and this is when you're really going to get your workout. So we have one cup of butter, which you were so kind to pick up for us. That's a lot of butter. It yeah, that's a lot of butter. melted, though. It doesn't need butter. to be fully melted. It needs to be softened at room temperature. That means it's going to be, i got to stir it. Uh-huh. That's exactly what that that's means. That's where the workout oh comes God. from. Right? I might need this thing. So there you go. Go ahead. Scrape that on out there. Just mash it? Mm -hmm. You're just going to fold it all in. So, oh, so nice. kind of talk to us a little bit about, you know, during the holidays, this is a, a lot of time for families to kind of come together and eat at the dinner table. But right now... I, I mean, I grew up, me and my mom was in the kitchen, my little brother, you know, baking all the time, baking, like I said, that store brought, um, you know, baked brownies or whatnot. Yeah. But this is a very monumental time to spend with family, just baking goods, and then it tastes good afterwards. Too. Exactly. But, you know, I think half of the fun is spending time with your loved ones in the kitchen and making messes. That's honestly one of the things that I love the most about Look, cooking and baking. this is already baking. too much trouble. No, yes, you can do it. Is. Look, I'm going to add you like some that. vanilla because you, don't be pouty. Pouty people don't get to eat cookies, Lynn. There we go. That's, That's a lie. Uh, uh, <laughs> Girl, I might have plenty of cookies. <laughs> Not in this kitchen. Not in this kitchen. So you're just going to fold it all in together. Right now it's really crumbly, but it's going to come together into kind of like a coarse dough. When? When you keep stirring. If I'm going to need my stool. This is too now, much. Now, do, we, do you supposed to add like some type of water or milk or anything? You can if you want to. If you feel like it's not coming together quickly enough, would you like me to go get you some milk to add Please, in there? Please, jeez, Louise. Okay. I'm about to pull my stool over here. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I if don't you mind. stir it as much as you talk, you'll be done. There we go. Yummy, 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 milk, milk, milk. There you go. Flynn, we're almost done. We're almost done. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. 
Are these the ingredients I'm looking for? <laughs> no, I thought Biscuit made them. Should be good. Okay, now guys, we've got two options here. Okay. So there are two ways that you can do your sugar cookies. I'm going to do it the easy way. No. How did let's, I let's know? Let's do it the way Biscuit is going to suggest. <laughs> so the two ways that you can do it, you can go ahead and put your dough in the fridge and let it chill for about 15 to 30 minutes. Okay. okay. And that way will kind of help it thicken up and help it settle and then you can roll it out and you can cut out your shapes and make your Christmas tree. Oh, the other that? option is just going ahead and taking an ice cream scoop and just scooping out a ball of cookie dough and putting it on your cookie sheets and popping it in the oven oh, so you've got cookies. Oh, but you cookies. wouldn't have any fun shapes. That's right, it. Right, so, okay. so which should we do? Well, which one do you well, want? For it's time the holiday season. I mean... It's totally up to you. How long do you have to let it stay in the fridge? 15 to 30 minutes. Get the scoop. <laughs> this is I Lynn mean, Vance, guys. This well, is this is the Lynn Vance right here. She's she's in a rush. She wants everything quick, fast, and in yes. a hurry. Instant gratification. That is what she's after. All right. So I tell you what, we are gonna go ahead and get out our cookie sheet and everything, and we'll get rolling. So you don't have to wait okay. so long, Lynn. Missy, what do we have then? So we are going ahead and lining our baking sheet with aluminum foil. You totally don't have to do this, but okay. I am one of those people who likes easy cleanup. So okay. if you do this, you can just spray your aluminum foil, and then when you're done with your cookies, just peel it up, throw okay. it away. No, you don't need to. Yes. Okay. All right. So a whole big scoop or a little scoop? It depends or on so how you. big your cookies yeah. want to be. How about that? That's good. Now pick your spot. There you go. Now, Biscuit, can you eat some of this? Some people eat the raw dough. Not yes. me, but there are some egg, people at this home. Does have eggs this in one it, doesn't huh? have eggs in it, so okay. technically, technically you're not supposed to eat the flour before it's cooked, but I'm not going to tell anybody. Well, I just want to see what it tastes like. There you go. All right, it's like a little snibble. I mean, it's good. <laughs> okay, you passed the Lynn Vance taste test. Yeah, it's pretty good. The Lynn Vance taste test. Mm -hmm. Okay, got it. I think we've reheated it to 350 degrees. Okay. You're going to let them sit in there for about 8 to 10 minutes or until they start to get lightly golden around the edge. 8 to 10 Now, right minutes. now it's on 220. Wait, 20, it, what's it got to be on? Well, it's preheating right now. It needs to preheat to 350. Oh, well, we need to wait. Then. No. Well, you're, you can put oh. them in there. You're going to put them in there. We're just you're telling you. The bottom, that's the microwave. Oh, that's the microwave? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and pop them in. Come here. Look a little light. Try, try, try them out. Try them out. Um, oh, Marissa's supposed to get the first one. Let's, yeah, let's yeah, let Marissa. Marissa, let the Marissa cookie Marissa you touched is right there. Which one? That one over there. This one? Yes. I touched that one? You touched that one. I saw you. I licked it. I don't know no, about that. Didn't lick it. Just, now give us your honest opinion because I think Lynn is lying. Oh, it's so soft. It's nice and warm, huh? Homemade. Mmm. Recipe is really easy. You can do it with your family. It's so easy that if all three of us can do it, you can do it too. Biscuit, go over the ingredients. Okay, so what one you need more time. for this recipe, you are gonna need some all-purpose flour. You will need some sugar. You are gonna need some butter, a little splash of vanilla, and of course, plenty of sprinkles to have so some people, festivities. Little sprinkles for festivities. So people that really like to bake, not like Darren. But people that really like to bake will have these ingredients probably already. Of course. Easy peasy. 